what's up guys? Welcome to another episode with Kosilla. Today, we are going to be talking about different tips that are gonna make you successful against the coronavirus. All right guys, so the first tip that we're gonna talk about, it's going to be how to build your immune system. I know you guys are running to the toilet paper aisle and slaying all the toilet paper, which, by the way, make sure you leave me some toilet paper. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna talk why Getting your priorities straight, why an immune system is more important. So baby, what are some tips that you, you can do to make sure that your immune system is better? Because at the end of the day, guys, the healthier you are, the harder it is for a bacteria to kill you. <clears throat> yeah, so basically what we do know about the coronavirus is it is basically a flu. There's no cure to it, which is why people are freaking out. Some precautions that we can take, like you said, are building your immune system. So I would recommend taking a multivitamin, products that are gonna help with immune systems, like it's elderberry. We went with the syrup. Um, some people just believe that it's more potent in your body. So what does this elderberry, uh, what is it good for? And why did you buy this? It's for building your immune system. So multivitamins, you know, we don't get a lot of the nutrients that we need in our food intakes on a daily basis, so it just gives you all the extra vitamins that we that we lack or we don't intake because we should be taking a certain amount of vitamins and nutrients per day. So that's just good for that. I think overall just like health in your body, but this is literally to build. Besides the coronavirus, if you are feeling sick, you feel like you're coming down with something, if it's a general like flu season, um, you can take this two milligrams four times a day. That will literally prevent you from getting sick. So. Stuff like this, there's another product that I recommend that I buy at Sprouts, it's called, or GNC. It's called the Wellness Formula. Um, I swear by it. Uh, the little emergency packages that I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. Those are great, so I'll take some of those here and there, especially when we run out of vitamins or we run out of our vitamin C. And you know, take one a day, but if you, again, you are coming down with something, if you take three a day, morning, noon, and night, saves me every single time. So those are three recommendations that I have. And then also fluids. And then to be specific, electrolytes. There's some Pedialyte, Gatorade. Alkaline water is really good. Electrolytes are gonna help give you that extra nourishment and it also helps with like nerve recovery and stuff like that, so. So there you have it. Make sure that you take care of your immune system and take your, your, your vitamins and guys. Uh, get fresh air too. That's get fresh good. air, but I, you gotta make sure that you're taking care of your bodies. It makes sense. It shouldn't take a virus for you to start working on your immune system. Your health should come first. So that goes tip number one. All right guys, tip number two is have a clean house. Clean yourself. Make sure that you're practicing, you're having good practices with good hygiene in every single area of your life. I'm very lucky that I have a, a neat freak, a very clean woman. Uh, but practicing having those those areas clean, proper hygiene, and making sure that when you're knee, sneezing, you're not utilizing your hands is gonna be good practices. Definitely, hygiene should be something that we all do in general, washing your hands after using the restroom and you know before eating and stuff like that. But right now, uh, I definitely don't think it's a bad idea when people say wash your hands 20 times a day during this time. So, and then just uh, sanitizing everything that you touch regularly, our phones, handles on our bags, you know, switches, cause you come home and doorknobs and just a little extra with something that's gonna have like, say somewhere that it does kill 99.9% .9 of germs, some Clorox in it, that's gonna be very strong and kill any bacteria that you know may be lingering. Um, also, you do wanna wipe them and then let them like air dry on their own, just like you would with hand sanitizer too on your hands. So if you don't have a sink, I carry these little things in my bag all the time, just in case, but I don't think there's anything better than using soap. And like the health organization is saying right now, you wanna wash your hands for 20 seconds. Take all the precautionary that you can with things that you're often touching, like your steering wheels and your handbag handles, being aware of your children and if you're a caregiver for anybody, um, everything that they're touching. If anything, you should be exaggerating that versus buying all the toilet paper and buying all the extra stuff like that. All right, guys. So our third tip is going to be... Uh, be a good dude or do that, all right? Don't treat others uh, bad because they're sneezing or coughing because at the end of the day, you're not a doctor and he could just have regular flu or he could just be coughing. So 
Don't treat an individual bad or outcast them because you think they have the coronavirus. Make sure that you're being a good person. If you're gonna be in a public place and you're that paranoid, I don't think it's bad to maybe wear a mask right now, but definitely like having that paranoia and being rude on other people isn't gonna help a situation. And they might not have it. <laughs> Apparently if you have uh, the coronavirus, you're super ill, so they might not be around in a common area like that. And also guys, we kind of forgot to mention about the gloves while we were wearing it. Um, you should have a pair of gloves uh, for situations where you're pumping gas or you're opening doors at uh, public restrooms or any area that has a lot of traffic with a lot of individuals. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have a pair of gloves that's going to protect you from those germs that, that everybody is having. So that's the reason why we have our gloves on right now. If you can, I would say just buy a box. That way you're not using the same ones that have all the germs. So use them, throw them out, and then, you know, keep the box with you in your car or, you know, if you can keep a few in your bag or um, your pocket. All right, guys, and our last tip is live your life to the fullest. At the end of the day, take the precautions, but don't freak out if there's no need to. Because at the end of the day, man, you putting your head down and freaking out and being paranoid is not going to help the situation. It's not going to help yourself and it's not going to help others, you know. So keeping that positive mental attitude, going by your day, still chase your goals, um, stay fit, stay active. But at the same time, practicing those good uh, good hygiene and practicing that pretty much setting yourself to a higher standard that way you are less likely at the end of the day guys we cannot control whether we get coronavirus or not but what we can control is our lifestyle and if we have a healthy lifestyle and you have a clean house and you're going to be less likely to uh, get affected as much from the disease makes sense because I mean we get the flu every single year and it sucks but at the end of the day I'm still alive and I think it's because of those practices and we put our health first. It's time for you guys to be healthy. You know, a lot of, a lot of, we have our priorities messed up, but health should be a, a priority. Let this situation be kind of a reminder of how important it is to live a healthy lifestyle because at the end of the day, guys, I can tell you myself and my girl, we are not losing any sleep because of no coronavirus. I don't think this or anything should hold you back. Nobody should live in fear. It's not fair for you. It's not fair for those around you. And like he said, it, it's not gonna be the solution to you not getting any type of flu or any type of virus that is going on worldwide or not. I personally don't know of anybody or haven't heard of anybody that has the coronavirus. I mean, obviously it's going on, but my point is people are allowing uh, it to dictate what they do, who they're around, pre preventing them from doing certain things that they've had planned for long periods of times, and I don't think that's fair. I think, in my opinion, if you're taking all these precautionary steps, um, it's the best that you can do without allowing it to provide um, paranoia in your life or fear. All right, guys, so that concludes another episode with Kosilla. Make sure that you are taking some of these tips. At the end of the day, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel and let us know what Instagram you want to see too. next guys because at the end of the day this channel is tailored for you you ask for it and we're going to deliver it be cool